Tell me this ain't crazy. So I'm on Instagram waiting for these Kobe's and a sneaker store that I, I always shop at Soul Street. This Grinch theme going on. And at first I was like, oh yeah, that's fire. Like I love the concept, all dressed up. And then bro starts ripping the boxes like one by one. And I was just like, okay, that's funny. Like, you know, and then he ripped another box and then he ripped another box and another box. And I'm like, bro, is this is real. He shows a video, he ripped up all the boxes in the store. So in order, you're, if you're gonna get the Kobe's, you're, you're gonna get it with a dust bag. I, I already know this is gonna go viral, like 1 million percent. Pause the video. Are you copping the Kobe's for retail without a box? start this off with like a little get ready with me or i guess not get ready with me but fit of the day i should probably be wearing white socks but i'm going with black because i don't care we got some black jeans oversized reference tee this is my brand you guys see on the back money comes frequently and abundantly blue hoodie from pleasures it's like 20 degrees i wish the vest was a little bit bigger but i feel like i'm gonna go with it yeah yeah why not kicks of the day you want to pull out beers true monies them things tied up tight i had some in the comments last time i wore these man let your shoes breathe a little and i was like hey I gotta defend myself. I did a photo shoot with Staple for the photography purposes. Shoes had to be a little tight. There's the fit. Rate it one through 10, let me know down below. This is literally like my first W on Kobe's for retail. In college, I did get a lot of the Kobe 9 highs retail and they lost their hype. So I even got them for below retail. But just a little vlog for y'all. A little news flash for you guys. I'm going to a co-working space before I pick up my shoes. It's about like 9 a.m. right now. I might be taking on a creative director role, helping them build their social media brand and stuff like that. So pretty excited. It's gonna be different for me. Totally just based on the fact that I've literally been a creator for the last 10 years. I've never had a nine to five or gotten the W-2. It's always been 1099. And I'm 29 years old, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to add multiple streams of income and just you know, get my hands in some different things. And to have this on top of all social media. We running the bag up 2024, bro. We are running the bag up so we can live a peaceful life, you know? Tonight we'll see and hear firsthand this kind of sound. Let's hear the rest of it. I was gonna do like a full blown cutscene. I was gonna put the camera over there and then get out the car and I was like, ah, y'all seen that, that post on Instagram? It's like, influencers be like, you set the camera, get in your car, back out, and then go park again. <laughs> and I'm like, nah, that's me. This is downtown Rhino. Like, this is the spot. If you came to Denver, this is where like the food spots are, all the boutiques. What's up, bud? Oh! I'm so excited, bro. I haven't even seen the reverse Grinches in hand. Do y'all miss like the, the days of mall vlogs and stuff? This store is located down in like 16th Street Mall. You guys can see they got like the whole parade and the float thing going on. Go right here. And this is the store. Let's get these Kobe's and honestly see what they have inside. Yeah. How you doing today? Pretty good, how are you? Good, thank you. Good. Excited, you know? Yeah, I don't blame you. What was the name? Super tough. Foam posits. Sweet. Oh yeah, I'll go with you. Oh sweet, that is a cool bag. So, Jesse's looking at 20673. Yeah. That video with Sean Mary, that was... Man, it was cool, like, man. Just to, like, Yo, what? just to be around him and like the conversation that we had. And, yeah, yeah. It's called a sneaker life. A sneak. A sneaker life. Oh, word! Oh yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. So this is the bag that they came in. It's pretty hilarious. Yes, sir, bro. Like I said, man, never got no like hype Kobe's for retail. So this is this is a first, first of its kind. Pretty geeked about this. So yeah, you guys saw in the intro, they tore up all the boxes. Which, how do you guys feel about that? Like, would you be mad? Would you still cop them even without the box? Like paying full retail price? I personally don't care. I'm realistically probably gonna use these in the gym because I really don't be hooping like that no more. 
after tearing my patellar tendon. But I will say, before I tore my knee, I love hooping in this shoe. The technology in this, the way it just forms to your foot, and just the aesthetics of it, how loud it is. I just, I love it. And it kind of is like a crimson, but it's not as bright as I expected. I mean, the soles are definitely a lot brighter. It's crazy how much hype over the shoe. I tried to get them on the sneakers app. I had two accounts that I entered for. I had Mary enter and I had my mom enter all just L's. I even saw that Vanessa Bryant said like, oh yeah, there's going to be more pairs, but I see that they're still selling out and hopefully Nike can put out more pairs in the future, blah, blah, blah. And that's like, that's really been her mission is to like push this more pairs, more pairs, more pairs, which personally makes me wonder why did they only do 300,000 supposedly? They could have done way more. Like why not do a million? Why not do as many as you did for the DMP 11s? Like, you know, this shoe is going to be extremely hyped, especially even after rekindling their relationship. Because at one point, I remember they said the Kobe's were done, like the partnership was terminated. But then after fixing that whole ordeal, why not make a million pairs of Kobe's? Two million. You know they're going to sell out. Why even play the supply and demand game when there's no way, even if they made two million pairs, guaranteed they would have all sold out. I just can't even imagine seeing this shoe sitting. But I mean, you guys can let me know down below. It does suck that this is such a hard shoe to get because I know a lot of people wanted this. And I, I am pretty excited to see, you know, with Nike being able to release Kobe's again, like I'm really excited to see the retros and what comes back out. Yeah, just, just something to think about. Like, I just don't understand why they didn't just make more pairs. Literally just had to backtrack because I forgot to get content for Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure to do that. If you want to, you know, if you want to. Man, I'm so like, I'm so happy, bro. Like what? Kobe's. I mean, are you guys like me and just every once in a while you just sit back and you look and you, you, you just stare and you're like, damn. Kobe ain't here no more. It's just such a crazy concept. I think we, we always forget, man, how fragile like life is. You know what I'm saying? Even like in terms of all the wants you have in life, at least I know for me, right? I just want, want, want. It's like a lot of the time we forget, man, wh what more is there to want than just being alive? You know what I'm saying? Like you can have all the money in the world and all the things in the world, but if you're dead, none of it matters. I don't know what it is or why I've been like this. It's really been on my mind as of late, just like thinking that way. And I think it's predominantly from being super ungrateful. Like I was being so ungrateful at a point, not realizing my blessings. Like, bro, I get to turn on a camera for a living. You know what I'm saying? Literally turn this camera on. You guys show love. I get paid from that. But it just goes to show, man. It doesn't matter what level you get to. You always want more. There's always something higher. Oh, you want to be a YouTuber. Then you're finally a YouTuber. Well, you want to be a more famous YouTuber. And then you're a famous YouTuber. Oh, then you want to be a celebrity or, you know, it's just like you're constantly chasing. You make 50K, well, I need 100K. You make 100K, oh, I need 300K. Oh, you make 300K, well, I need a million. Oh, this is my dream car, I really wanted this car. You get that car, you want another car. <laughs> the same thing goes with sneakers, right? I want, I really want these Kobe's. Hey man, you got those Kobe's. Ah, uh, but I actually want those Kobe's too. Like, it's just a never ending battle versus yourself versus just being content. We're just, we're hilarious. Human beings are hilarious. And maybe it's like more so Americans than anything, but life is hard enough, man. Just, just sit back, take a deep breath, appreciate what you have. As I was just in the store, a dude came up to me, I kind of recorded a little bit of the conversation, but he's like, yo, you do YouTube. And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, what's your channel? And I'm like, a sneaker life. And he's like, bro, I'm actually subscribed to you. He's like, I used to watch your stuff all the time when I was 15 and now I'm 20. And I was like, oh bro, like you're still collecting. He's like, nah, bro, I can't. And I'm like, why? And he's like, bro, it's, it's too expensive. On God, it is. Word of advice, guys, if you didn't hit on the Kobe's today, put some of that money in stocks. That was like the best thing I ever heard was anytime you miss a release, instead of like being all mad about it, Unless you want to pay resale, which, you know, we all work for our money. You do whatever you want. But, like, if that money's just sitting there anyway, you know, just buy some stocks, buy some Nike, buy some Adidas. Like, talk about a good habit I wish I was, I would have got into when I was younger. Woo! Because you look at it that way, you're never taking an L. Yeah, you might have missed out on sneakers, but you, you invested in the stock market. That's what I like to call a delayed long-term W. But yeah, let's get back to the house. I'm sure y'all are tired of me rambling, but, boy, these things are clean. Funny, you know, I, I wasn't consistently uploading for a minute like two, three years, I don't know, whatever. But best believe, man, I was still watching on how to produce good content. Shots that I got these days are just so dope. Got this fire mount that you guys can't see, but it's cold. What are you doing? This is the bag it came in. They put just like a piece of the box? Yeah. To verify that they're real or what? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess. Did you open them yet? Yeah. How old are they? Dope. And I kind of do wish I had the box because this one they added like the scales to it looks pretty sweet. And I ain't complaining. Woo! First thoughts? They're nice. Yeah. They're bright. Of course, I'm not going to send you guys off without seeing these things on feed. You think we'll go back to them 2012 days where 
people just casually wear, you know, Nike sports, or just really basketball shoes in general, like as lifestyle sneakers. The times, man, the fits were trash, but you know, one thing I'll tell you guys, if you are going to buy these in the back end or whatever the case, right? They do fit tight, man. They fit exactly like the all-star pair, which kind of sucks. I mean, perfect, I guess, for hooping, but man, I, I definitely would have a 12 and a half, which would have been just impossible to get. I mean, if we're being realistic. And this is this is what I would wear if I just, you know, <laughs> I mean, the pants might not go, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you wear like some joggers or something, but I would wear this. Like, I like this fit. You guys saw the fit early in the video. Definitely gonna be my gym shoes though, for sure. We'll see if I get back into hooping. I've always wanted, like, after my basketball career, I really wanted to just do like performance reviews. Like I'm talking like kick genius type performance reviews, you know? Just cause I, I know what I'm talking about. Like I played college basketball. I know what makes a shoe good. So, you know, maybe we'll get into that. Cause I think that would be really cool. But, like, what do you think about this? Like the oversized pants on the sneaker? I actually think it looks pretty good. It's just, it's just different. And these are, boy, these are loud on feet. Woo, sheesh. But they are comfortable. You know, if you are gonna hoop within these, it takes a while to break in, but these are designed to form to your foot. So that's just something to note. Crazy to think, man, the last time I wore these, was March 12th, 2022, when I tore my patellar tendon. I was hooping in these, went for that, went up for that dunk. My knee says, psych, my boy. I loved hooping in these. I, I, at one point I had three pairs of these. Which pair are you guys liking better, man? Do you like the reverse or do you like the original? I'm assuming everyone's gonna go with the originals because they're just solid. Man, these, these are the days. I hope, I hope we see like the resurgence of Nike basketball. I really like those D books that just came out. They look pretty cold, I'm gonna have to get a pair. But shout out to you guys for getting through the whole vlog, man. I know I've been rambling and stuff. I'd just be talking, bro. I hope it impacts people in some type of way, in some form of fashion. I don't know if anything beats these all-stars, honestly. Happy Friday, man. Hope you guys have a blessed weekend. Much love. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna enjoy my weekend too, man. Sit back and you know think of some cool videos that I can bring you guys for the next week. This is your boy, Sneaker Life. I will catch you in the next one. Run it. Sneak a life. Hey, 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 a sneak a life.